Hey, this is Veronica Wasik with the 5MinuteBookkeeping.com blog where we show you how to minimize bookkeeping and maximize profits. This week we are talking about how to enter NSF checks or bounced checks. Those are checks when your customer uh, writes you a check and then you get that notice from the bank that there weren't enough funds in your customer's account for the check to clear. So what you'll see on your bank account is a reduction of an amount that you previously deposited. Now most untrained users wants to go in and um, delete the original invoice that they entered and the payment. Well that's not the right way to do it. So make sure and watch the tutorial and I'll show you how to work with NSF checks or bounce checks and how to record them properly in QBO. Here's a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to enter NSF checks or bounce checks in QBO. First, you'll need to set up some items in the products and services list. Click on the gear icon and select products and services. Click new, service, create a new item called bounce check, enter the same in the description for the income account Select the bank account used to make the original deposit and make sure that the Is Taxable box is unchecked. Click Save and New. Now we'll create another item. We'll call this one Bounced Check Fee. Enter the same in the description. For the income account, select Bank Charges. This is an expense account. This is not a taxable item, so unclick the taxable box. Click Save and Close. At this point, we don't want to change the original invoice or the payments that we have entered from our customer, even though we did receive a check that had insufficient funds. What we want to do is to create a new invoice and invoice that customer for the amount of the bounced check plus the amount of any bank charges that we have incurred. Go to the plus sign, select invoice, enter the name of the customer. The invoice date is the date that the check bounced. For product and service, Select Bounce Check, enter the amount of the bounce check. Let's assume it was $1,000. Next, we'll enter the bounce check fee. And let's say that was $50. So just to clarify again, what we're doing here is that we are creating a new invoice for our customer so that they can write a new check and pay for the bounce check amount plus the bounce check fee. So in total, they owe us $1,050. And we'll save and send. Let's assume now that the customer did give us a new check and that we need to enter the payment received against that invoice. From the customer center, we'll select the, the customer. Here's the invoice that we sent them. We'll click Receive Payment. We'll enter the payment method as check. Enter the check number. And here we can deposit to undeposited funds or to the checking account, depending on how you do your own bookkeeping. And then we'll need to make sure that we're just checking off the box next to the invoice that we're applying the payment against. And we'll just click Save and Close. And that's how you enter an NSF or bounce check in QBO. Remember to subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and visit our blog at 5minutebookkeeping.com.